This is a demonstration of how to review and edit transcription heads in Mechanical Turk. For these tasks, you will be required to review an existing transcript, make edits as necessary, and then provide a summary of the errors you encountered. Let's get started. Once you've accepted the transcript, you can go ahead and press the play button to begin reviewing and editing. I like Jen's family side dishes a lot. Turkey with mashed potatoes and stuffing, you know. And the corn pudding. When I make the corn. We see here that the letter C needs to be capitalized. So we'll go ahead and make those changes now. Let's continue reviewing. You make corn pudding, that's good. The stuffing. We also see here that the letter Y needs to be capitalized as well. So we'll go ahead and make those changes. This button here allows you to go back four seconds so that you can continue reviewing from the point you left off. Corn pudding. Corn, I make the corn pudding. You make corn pudding, that's good. The stuffing. Stuffing. Cranberry. Good. Turkey and mashed potatoes is probably my favorite holiday dish. Once you are done reviewing and editing, you can go ahead and click the Submit button. Once you click on the Submit button, an evaluation box will pop up. This box will allow you to review your changes. Section 1. Review your changes. In the first gray box, you will see what was written in the original transcript. The second gray box, right below it, you will see the changes you made to the transcript. These new boxes will make it easy for you to compare the original transcript with your edits. Let's move on to section 2. Does the transcript meet this criteria? This option appears for you to select if the transcript entered was completely unrelated to the media you heard or viewed. If you encountered a scenario where the media doesn't match the transcript, then you would click this box here. This would automatically gray out any other options and you would simply hit the submit button. Does the original transcript match what we heard in the video? In this case it did, so we can move on to section 3. Choose the number of errors you corrected. You will no longer be required to select a score. You will now simply count the number of errors corrected. In this transcript, we had two capitalization errors. Please note that a friendly pop-up message will remind you to fix all errors. If you made edits but don't count any errors and try to submit, the pop-up message will remind you to please select the type of errors you corrected as seen here. In this case, we would have to go back and select the errors we, we edited. Certain selections will encourage you to provide comments, selecting, for example, a guideline error and trying to submit it will then give you another pop-up box that says, please explain why you selected guideline error. This also occurs when you select Other. We need as much information as possible to justify rejections. Let's select now the type of errors we corrected in our transcript. We had two capitalization errors. One, two. You have the option here to type in any additional comments. If no comments are made, then you can go ahead and just click the Submit This Hit is Complete. If you encounter a perfect transcript with no edits or errors, all you need to do is click the Submit This Hit is Complete button. When fraudulent work is suspected, special checkboxes will override all other scoring options. For example, when the media is audible and the transcript has been submitted with a single inaudible tag, you will have the choice to click one checkbox instead of counting errors, and then you can submit. Same applies when you come across a single blank audio tag. Again, 
please make sure that you transcribe the media or audio first, then submit, and when this pop-up box appears, you will then click on either the checkbox that appears and reads inaudible or blank audio. Once you click, all other options gray out and you could submit this hit is complete.